how to wholesale pre foreclosures in 2023. Hey guys, it's Rick Ginn, and today we're going to go through from start to finish on how to wholesale pre foreclosures. And honestly, it's a lot easier than you think, and they are great leads to get started in wholesaling. But before I get into it, do me a favor make sure you smash that like button, you hit that subscribe button to continue to receive the most up to date information on wholesaling today. So, first of all, we have to understand what is a pre foreclosure. And this is the beginning stages when someone basically stops making their mortgage payments typically to a bank and the bank enters into a legal action called foreclosure. Now, before it's foreclosed on it, we put it in the pre foreclosure stage. This is when the banks announce to the world that we're filing a formal lawsuit to recoup our losses and get the property back due to non payment of the mortgage. Now, honestly, this is where most homeowners freak out. It is a very overwhelming letter. It's an overwhelming phone calls and the banks basically send debt collectors to get the homeowner to try to pay their mortgage and they threaten everything on court action and we're going to put a judgment against you and kick you out of your house and honestly it's very intimidating to the average homeowner that's in a pre foreclosure stage so that's where you the wholesaler comes in and the idea is to find people that are in pre foreclosure and that want to sell their house now if they want to sell their house or they need to sell their house that's where you're going to have to tell the sweet spot in wholesaling. You see, what happens is when people get these notices, usually in the beginning, it scares the heck out of them. And when people are scared, frightened, or fearful, they usually like to take immediate action so they can get certainty to solve the problem. Here's the problem with pre foreclosures. In the beginning, most homeowners want to get it solved. And usually there is what we call a sweet spot. And that sweet spot is between one and three months from the initial filing from the bank at the courthouse saying they're getting ready to foreclose on the house. Why? Because it's scary. Sellers want to resolve it and either they take immediate action, but after three months, procrastination kicks in and homeowners go, well, you know, nothing's happened in three months and I kind of like this deal. I'm not paying my mortgage. I don't think they're going to take my house away and they stop calling me. And honestly, I haven't even gone to court. So why even worry about it? I'm just not going to pay my mortgage and I'm just going to ignore it. Bottom line is they put their head in the sand and they ignore it. The worst thing you can do on any type of foreclosure, but that's why you want to catch them in what we call the sweet spot. From month one to month three, that's usually when you can take a homeowner take action. It's usually their highest motivated point. Now, the problem is after three months, you, they turn into procrastinators and they're professionals at it. Honestly, that's how a lot of them got in this position. And then they just, they never take action. But here's the problem is they want to take action maybe seven months to a year later when the property is actually going up to auction and they go, hey, Rick, 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 I'm highly motivated. I want to sell it right now, right now. At that point, there's no money left in it. A lot of times the property's upside down and it takes a lawyer to file a legal motion, which is 50-50 at best to stop the foreclosure sale. And honestly, if they call you at that point, especially if you're just new to wholesaling, let them go because it's not worth the risk for you to spend money because they're not going to spend money on a lawyer, nor should you. Honestly, catch pre-foreclosures in the sweet spots from the first time they get their notice to a maximum 90 days and you'll do a lot better with those people because they usually want the deal done. Now let's talk about why are pre foreclosures so ideal for wholesalers? Well, we've already gone over the motivation part. Nobody likes to be kicked out of the house, get a judgment against them and have an uncertain future. So that's where we go in and try to help them get the house sold and save their credit, save the foreclosure, and hopefully they can move on with their lives and find a new place to live. The other part of this is foreclosures take time. They actually take a lot of time depending on what state you're in. But with that time factor and the high motivation is it is much easier for you to find a cash buyer to take over your contract via assignment. And sometimes it can take between one month and six months to wrap the deal up. So you're not under the usual pressure you are on a typical wholesale deal to try to get it wrapped up in one or two weeks. Honestly, you can take between 30 and 90 days and easily sell any pre foreclosure. And that is perfect for those of you that are brand new to wholesaling because you don't have the stress of trying to get the deal done and honestly, it's much easier to parade your buyers through there because what are the seller's alternatives? So you don't get the usual objections you get and you get a much larger time window. That's why it's absolutely perfect for a new wholesaler. Now, 
how do we get started in it? This is like the easy part. So you're going to like this one. So you simply go down to your county courthouse and ask for a list of foreclosures. They don't call them pre foreclosures, just call it foreclosure list. And these are basically a list of all actions taken, what we call a Liz pendants, L I S P E N D E N S. And that's just a fancy word for the banks filed a formal notice to move ahead with a lawsuit to get the person to rectify the mortgage or liquidate the asset to make the bank whole. You want the newly opened ones and when you get them, it is public information. You should have zero, I mean zero resistance in getting this list because number one, it is a lawsuit. It is a very public document. Remember, you don't want the auction dates. I am not interested in that. Those people are already foregone. Let people bid on that. That's not what wholesalers do. We catch people in the beginning stages of pre-foreclosure before the house goes to auction. So if you can get that list within the last 30 days, you should be just fine. It should not be a hard list because it has to be public by law. And honestly, you should be able to easily access this list online. Go to your county courthouse and ask for instructions how you can get this list. Sometimes they're going to charge like a corporate account to get it, but honestly, it might be worth it. So you don't have to track in your car, go down to the courthouse and get that list every other week. Now, once you have the list, which as I said, it's public, it should be easy. You have to decide your plan of action to attack it. And there's several, there's, there's basically three primary ways you can attack it. In my opinion, I'm here to tell you, I love direct mail. It doesn't really work well with people in pre foreclosure because they tend to ignore the mail anyways. That's how they got in this situation. So the best way to do it is you can cold call them. Once you have that list, you basically skip trace them. You can go to truepeoplesearch.com and get their information for free. And then you basically going to call them. That's a cold call. The other one is SMS text. You can send them a text and see if there's any interest in selling the property. Or the third way is what we call reverse driving for dollars. In the old days, I used to go and knock on these people's doors, but the advent of ring doorbells and nosy neighbors and people that don't answer the doors anymore we use a technique called reverse driving for dollars. You just organize your pre foreclosure list and you go out and put a little yellow sticky note on the door. It can be pink. It can be purple. Just a color that gets your attention. Say, I got a quick question about your house. It's Rick and put on your virtual phone number. And if you had 50 foreclosure, you went out and put it and say eight people called you back. Those are eight people you can move forward with to qualify or disqualify and set an appointment on there. It is extremely efficient. It gets you past the no solicitation. A lot of counties, you can't solicit door to door anymore. You can actually actually get a fine for it or actually have to go to court. So check your state and local laws when you do this. The bottom line is the sticky notes with reverse driving for dollars. It's very effective to have people call you back because it's very personable. Everybody sees it. They don't ignore it. It's not like they're junk mail. It is a physical note and it gets a high response rate. And that is my recommendation to have the best connection rate with anybody in a pre foreclosure situation. Now, regardless of which one you do, and honestly, you could do all three. It's, it's not a bad strategy at all is you have to figure out how to do your conversation with the seller. Now, the, my number one question is this, do I tell them they're in foreclosure or not? Trust me, they know they're in foreclosure. The question is, do they want to share that information with you? Because it's very private and personal. I never bring it up unless I have to, okay? You're better off having the homeowner tell you, hey, I've got this problem going on with the house. Maybe you can help me out. It, it goes much better with that. But every now and then you do have to remind them. But guys, listen, simplify your conversation. If you want to learn more on how to do these conversations, go over to freewholesaling.com. We do thorough training and teach you from A to Z on how to get started in pre foreclosures absolutely free. But guys, honestly, I'm going to simplify this for you. You basically want to simplify your conversation with them. Say, I saw your house. I just want to know if you had any interest in selling it. Look like a pretty cool house. And just hopefully they tell you what's going on. No, no, everything's good. And sometimes you got to tell them, is everything good? That's great. Well, listen, in the event you need to sell it, let me know. And I'll probably end that phone call and then I'm going to do a follow-up. In the follow-up, then you could bring it up. I go, listen, I noticed that ABC Bank did something with the property. I don't know what it is, but if you ever had an interest in selling it. Now, sometimes they tell you I'm going to borrow money from my sister or my bank. Just understand that rarely ever happens. And you just want to let them know you know. But nine times out of 10, they usually tell you the problem or they don't want to sell. And remember, we can't make people sell. We're just there to help people and guide them through the process. The more honest and transparent conversation you can have, the better off you're going to do. But if you want to learn more how to do this, go over to freewholesaling.com. Now, once we identify they want to sell the house and you come up with a number, obviously you've got to check with your title company and your seller to find out what they owe against the property. And you need to know this before you make the offer, because if you offer 200,000 and they owe 240,000, then that offer is not going to stick. It's no big deal. You can readjust your contract, but you got to know what they owe against the property. Most homeowners know, but sometimes they're not completely accurate. So I take the information 
information from the homeowner and then I simulate that to make my offer. Now, you want the lowest offer possible. Remember, you're offering speed and convenience and in return, you give them the speed, the convenience and the dignity to walk away from their house without any type of repercussions. And that's what I always go for when we have a pre foreclosure. Now, once you have a contract with them and you, you have an agreed price, make sure you take it to your title company immediately to run title, to verify when, where they are in foreclosure, how much is owed against it, and to make sure there is no sale date pending against that property. Now, the really cool thing is once you have a valid contract and you're good to go, you need to go find a cash buyer to take over your contract position and you've got to be courteous about bringing the cash buyers through there if the homeowner's still living in the property. But honestly, you need to find someone that's looking for a property in that area, let them know your price, and then basically you can add your number to the contract, whatever, five, 10, 15, 20 grand. Remember, you're providing a service and cash buyers like this because they don't have to go to MLS, they don't have to work through a realtor and they get a deal and they can usually close on a reasonable amount of time. Now, I always make the closing catered to what the homeowner wants. If they need a few months and it's going to work, then we can make it work. But if they're late in the foreclosure, you got to move it along because the attorney expenses, the all the fines, all the penalties, they really add up. And sometimes the homeowner gets very little. Remember, the sooner a homeowner in pre foreclosure works with you, the better the outcome. Usually they can get a few more dollars. They get a lot more options and it's a lot less stressful. I can't stress to you enough. The sweet spot is between when they first get filed and three months after that, it's usually a disaster. And honestly, I don't want you to take on other people's disasters because there's no reward at the end of that rainbow. So guys, once you find your cash buyer, you just basically have them sign the assignment of contract. They leave a non-refundable deposit. You give it to your title company. Yes, you work with your title company, not another title company, especially in a pre foreclosure situation. There is no room or time to bring in another title company. It will pretty much railroad your transaction. I don't want that to happen for you. So guys, if you want to get started in wholesaling and you want to start with pre foreclosures in 2023, this is your ticket. It works really well. Now you're going to have to go through a lot. You're going to put up with a lot of drama, but honestly, these are great deals because you have time to close them and there's usually some money left in them. And honestly, the sellers are motivated because they're losing the house. We want to help people. The idea is to create a win, win, win situation for your seller, for your buyer, and obviously you. If you want to do that, learn more how to do it over at freewholesaling.com. And guys, if you got value from this video, do me a favor, make sure you smash that like button. You hit that subscribe button. Guys, this is Rick Ginn, and I'll see you in the next video.